Okay, we'll start with uh, some homegrown news here. Yesterday, the Daily Wire CEO, Jeremy Boring, uh, posted a trailer to our next film, our first feature-length comedy, which is called Lady Ballers. And uh, many people have pointed out that prior to this, you know, for, for years now, many people have been pointing out, um, I have certainly not been the only one, that by all rights, there should obviously be a sports comedy making fun of the absurd idea that men can compete in women's sports. It's a ridiculous idea. It's an idea that is just begging to be satirized and someone should do it. But, but Hollywood, well, first of all, they don't, make, they don't make real comedies anymore, which I don't even mean that as hyperbole. They just, they, they just don't make comedies anymore. Um, and, uh, and they certainly, if they did make one on the rare occasion that they do make a comedy, they aren't going to make one on this subject. So instead, uh, we decided to make that film, the film which should exist, and now it does. Uh, here's the trailer. Watch. In a world where women's sports is being transformed, the Daily Wire calls foul with the most triggering comedy of the year. Guys, this is serious. Sports can be your pathway to a better life. Well, like yours? <laughs> Please don't steal my catalytic converter again. Winning matters. It's the key ingredient in becoming a winner. Maybe you should try it sometime. Are you gonna move? I am not. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. I know you're not a woman. Hey, you don't know how you. he identifies. If you can beat them. What do you know about the US Opens for the Global Games? You want us to compete as women. $5,000 prizes. My lover says you were a great coach back in the day. Join. This is the way the world is now. My eight-year-old daughter told me all about it. So a guy can become a girl with no physical changes at all. Oh, that's called gender fluid. So I can be a woman on the court and a man in the bedroom. I can't believe it. Nice. You mean when you're sleeping? Yes. Coach. Alex. We, we could play, play basketball. basketball. We have to get the whole team back together. It's time. We're in. I'm in. I'm in to play Lady Baldur's. Mount up. Like a girl. That's right. I'm with her. Oh. I'm leaving my truth. Uh, this is my truth. From heroes. Day one of being a girl athlete. <laughs> I love being a girl. To sheroes. We could dominate every woman's sport. Running. Swimming, soccer. I said sport, Felix. It's ladies basketball, boys. Nobody watches. Excuse me. Are these seats open? <laughs> ne never mind. Getting dunks. <laughs> and tucking trunks. You no, know she didn't. That's the biggest I've ever seen on a lady. I don't care. Lady Ballers. One can even be trans age now, which provides Sheelix with a wonderful opportunity to relive all the experiences that she missed out on in school. <laughs> Streaming exclusively on Daily Wire Plus, December 1st. Now, uh, a few things there. First of all, of course, most importantly, uh, a number of eagle-eyed viewers did notice a certain um, quite handsome yet strangely attired character appear briefly in the trailer. And, uh, and yes, that character was me. This is, this is what I look like in the film. Let's put that up just in case you missed it. That's right. You know, and um, I just want to give some, some background on this. I'm not even sure how much of this I'm supposed to say. But here's what actually happened. This is the real, this is like what, this is how this, this is how this came about. Is uh, several months ago, Jeremy pulled me into his office and handed me a script for this movie without any context whatsoever and told me to read the script in like an hour and a half. And, uh, and then after I read it, I would find out what character he wants me to play. So I, I read the script, it was a great script, it was hilarious. And only after reading it did, uh, was I informed that 
um, the, the idea was for me to play the most liberal character in the entire film. Uh, the, like the one guy who's the craziest left-wing fruitcake is the one they want me to play. And basically, it's a character designed to be the exact opposite of me in, in like every imaginable respect, right down to, of course, as you know, I don't, uh, I don't like making physical contact with people. I don't like when people touch me. But in the movie, uh, the character is a, lo- is a big hugger, loves to hug. So every, you know, it's basically, it's a, really a, a, a character that's designed just to troll me specifically. And, uh, and so that's what happens there. As for the rest of the film, you know, I'm very confident that it's funny. The truth is I haven't seen it. And I've been asking them to let me see it for weeks. And they insist that we all need to watch the movie together for the first time at the Red Carpet premiere, which is on Wednesday. Um, because it'll be a fun thing for the company or something. So I'm excited to see how it all turned out. And uh, I'm mostly excited this will exist now because it needs to exist. Uh, Mocking a thing that desperately deserves to be mocked. And there's just this goldmine of comedy to be found in really on the left in general, but especially with left-wing gender ideology, now, gender ideology is horrific, and it's evil, and it's wrong, and it's, uh, uh, it's uh, disturbing on every level, but it's also eminently mockable. And as uh, it was Thomas More who said that the, the devil, a proud spirit, cannot endure to be mocked, which is why we should mock. And, you know, mocking, mockery of evil, and I've been saying this for a long time. Mockery of evil uh, is a virtue, in my opinion. It is a virtuous act. And that's what this movie does. And uh, also creating great comedies for people to laugh and have fun is also a virtue. And there's, I mean, there really is basically none of those anymore. It's a whole genre that doesn't exist. Because even if you're not making a comedy, now we wouldn't expect Hollywood. This is, it's just, Hollywood cannot make this movie. They can't make it. But uh, you would think that, Okay, they're not going to make a sports comedy, uh, you know, making fun of the of trans ideology. We understand that as much as they should make it. But you would think, well, you could make some kinds of comedies. Like you could have a comedy that that makes any jokes at all about any subject. But um, uh, the fact is that you know Hollywood's at a point now where they can't do that at all. They cannot create any comedies. So we have stepped in to uh, fill the gap. And you can see it for yourself on uh, Friday. If you haven't subscribed yet to Daily Wire, make sure you subscribe before Friday. If you uh, haven't renewed your subscription, I would do all that. And make sure you tune in on uh, Friday. You're not going to want to miss it. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Walsh Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.